Here at Wine & More on First Tasting Room in Lehighton, they're all about Pennsylvania made. You can taste some great wines, beers, and spirits, all produced right here in our great state. All of the wines they sell come from Stone Mountain Wine Cellars, a family farm located in Pine Grove. Norton Grape is their flagship grape. It's a very unusual grape. Um, unfortunately, during Prohibition, if you could not turn your grape into jam or jelly, agents would make you rip it up and burn out the roots. So You're we kidding. lost. No, I'm not. That's why we have so much Concord and Niagara up and down the East Coast. Unfortunately, we lost a lot of heritage grapes during that time. Yeah, that's tragic. It is. But since Pine Grove even today is not on the beaten track, these survived. Now, the one you're having in particular mm -hmm. was created by the grandson. He's discovered he likes bourbon. This is our dry red, aged in a bourbon barrel, and you should be picking up little hints. Taste the bourbon. It's not really oaky, but it's got an interesting flavor. Almost like a caramel with a slight hint yeah. of vanilla to this. And it's very smooth, very nice on the palate. That's a good one, and it's dry, but it's not super dry. No, it's, it's a nice beginner pairs very, very well with red meats and game meats. Now this one, I'm gonna bring this a little closer because okay. this is our blueberry wine. This is one of our most popular. You can see the color. Yeah. Oh, now, lovely. everything here, everything except Chardonnay is mm -hmm. grown on the farm. So these are, it is a working fruit orchard and dairy. So that is 100% blueberries. It's not grape oh. wine that's been flavored. Yes, that's why it's so popular. It's good. Now, if you'd pass me that bottle there Certainly. in front of you, this is our hard cider. We have three hard ciders. Now, this is the Cowboy. This is our original dry. Okay. As I said, the farm is actually a working orchard. And we'll pop this over here. Now, this is not carbonated. It's slightly effervescent. So the bubbles are smaller and there's less of them. But this is a hard cider or technically an effervescent apple wine. Wow, that's interesting. You can really taste the crispness of the apples, apples in there. Apples, yes, very crisp. Now we also do a lot of blended wines. If you can hand me the Orchard Blush. Sure. This actually has four different grapes in it. Now this is one Ooh. of our sweetest wine for those people who really like their sweet wine. This has Concord, Niagara, Fredonia, and just enough Norton to give it this color. Now when you smell and taste this, because of the Fredonia grape, there's actually almost little hints of cotton candy in that. It's not overwhelmingly. No, very subtle. But That's it's crazy. nice and sweet. It, oh, it is. <laughs> it is. And this is, I said, if you like sweet, we teasingly sometimes call that our adult Kool-Aid because it goes down so easily. These are all great selections. Now, how many different wines do you have here? Oh, we have, I think at last count, 44 different varieties. Tina, this has been so much fun, but of course that's not all that you have here at Wine & More, right? Oh no, not at all. We want to serve everyone as much as possible. Well, hello there. Hi. This is Mike Henniger, and he is the taproom manager here at Wine and & More and First. And the fun thing about this place is that if you're not a big wine drinker, you also have some beer. Yeah, we like to offer people the options. Our beers are brewed in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's a father and son team, Jeff Bonner Sr. and Jeff Bonner Jr. Excellent. So tell us about some of these beers because some of them are very interesting. A lot of Yeah, we have a, a wide variety here. On the, starting over here, we have our cocoa lager, which mm -hmm. is a chocolatey lager. This is our cave de bear, which is a fruited berry lager that has four different berries in it, hence the reddish tinge to yes. it. This is a local favorite, Lehighton Lager, us of course being in Lehighton. And then the Peach Mango Sour, which has become very popular now. Here we have cans, we also have cans to go as well as our offerings on tap. And we can do growler fills as well. Well, I think I'm going to try this one. What, what was this one again? That's the Cave de Bear. That's a tart lager with both blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. This is really good. Yeah, that's it. People who like don't even like beer like that. Yes, I'm not, I'm not a big it's, beer drinker, but that is very flavorful and it's fruity, which I like. Yep, it's very unbeer like Yes, I love it. And that's not all. When we come back, Tina makes us a frozen drink using locally produced spirits, and we're finding out about a local wine event happening today.